So one of the best features, in my opinion, introducing iOS 18 is iPhone mirroring. iPhone mirroring. With iPhone mirroring on Mac, I can see what's on my iPhone and can control it too, all while barely lifting a finger. I've been playing around for hours with this feature and I have to say I'm truly impressed by its capabilities. And I'd like to share with you some of the best use cases for iPhone mirroring, why it's so useful, what people are using it for, and why I believe this is the beginning of something totally new within the Apple ecosystem. And before we start, in order to launch iPhone mirroring or be able to use it, there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. First, you need to have a Mac with a Apple Silicon chip or a T2 security chip for Intel. You need to be running macOS Sequoia. Then it's also important that your iPhone is obviously running iOS 18. Even if you're able to run iOS 18.1, it's better because there are some massive upgrades to iPhone mirroring in that update. And lastly, it's important that both devices, so your Mac and your iPhone are both logged in to the same Apple ID. Oh, and also important two-factor authentication needs to be enabled on your Apple ID. All right, so before we start, let me show you the right software versions that you need to be running. So you need to be running macOS Sequoia. I'm running a Sequoia 15.1. And on your iPhone, you need to be running iOS 18, preferably a newer version, iOS 18.1 or .2 would be best. So this is running iOS 18.2. And now when you have macOS Sequoia, installed on your device you have now this new iphone mirroring app so let's open that and then you see unable to connect to the iphone to set up iphone mirroring make sure your iphone is near this mac bluetooth need to be enabled as well as wi-fi let's get the iphone we want to connect um, to this mac then we click on try again and there you see your iphone on your mac quick access to iphone apps view and act on notifications no need to reach for your iphone let's hit continue and then you can see it's going to ask for this unlock from my iPhone. So let's fill in my passcode here like that. And do we want to allow for notifications from this iPhone? Uh, yes, we allow this. And then iPhone uh, mirroring is ready to be used. So yeah, let's get started easy as that it's now going to ask for touch id or the login from this mac so let's use touch id just like that and there we go iphone is in use so what we need to do now is just toggle this off and unlock the iphone again and then we hit connect and then we should be good to go just like that it's going to connect to the iphone 16 plus here do we want to require to ask for authentication every time and time again for me it's fine ask every time i don't have problems with that and just boom we're in and as you can see here on the iphone it's saying iphone in use this iphone is being used uh, by the macbook pro here this on the side let me show you some amazing things you can do with iphone mirroring for starters we can actually make this a bit bigger so let's do that let's make this bigger command plus to zoom in and now we have a bigger iphone mirror screen here and then you have these two buttons here on the top which allows you to one go to your app overview and then you can just force close any app if that's what you want to do just like that how we do it on iphone yeah we can just basically scroll in here and use any of the apps we want just like on a normal iphone really cool because for example what you can do is you can go to the photos app and let's say we have this image here for me we can can just long press it just like that and then we can just move it out of here on the desktop and just like that boom we have this image now without background just straight grabbed from my iphone i mean how amazing is that so that's one of my favorite things to do here but i'm sure there are a bunch of other things that people are going to discover between these two devices and i believe the ipad and maybe apple watch in the future are going to be added as well also what is great so let's say for example we're going back to the home screen so what you can do is you can or just press here on the top or what you can also do is just press on the bottom here on the bar and what's maybe one of the most insane things you can do so right now you know that in iOS 18 you can lock apps with face ID so let's say yeah photos is locked but you don't need to unlock your iPhone you don't need to use face ID on your iPhone in order to access photos touch ID on your Mac is sufficient to access it is that's really Apple ecosystem 
system at its best because I think this required an insane amount of engineering to create this feature. Other things you can do is, for example, uh, drag multiple selections of photos and videos so straight to your desktops. So let's say, for example, we have these four and we just want to just immediately crop, drop them here and then boom, just like that. You can see we immediately okay, have so it. This is just and the dark image as well. So let me briefly go over why people would think this would be helpful for them to use. Well, first of all, you will have access to iPhone apps on your Mac. So for example, Image Playground is not available on a Mac, but it's available on iPhone and we can just use it like that on our Mac. So if there are any apps that are running on iPhone or available only in the iPhone app store, then you have access to it on your Mac through iPhone mirroring. Next, what might be helpful is let's say you need to charge your device, your iPhone, and you don't want to use it, then you have the possibility to just bump. You do that, it's getting charged, and at the same time, you can just use your iPhone and make sure your iPhone's battery is getting a full, I mean, really amazing. Next up, for example, if you have your iPhone in another room, so not nearby, but somewhere else, then you can just put this away. I think many people will find that useful. They want to work and focus on their Mac, and they don't want to pick up their iPhone all the time. They just have this iPhone screen next to their usual workflow. If they get anything from messages, whatever, they can just immediately access it, make it smaller as well. If you just want to make sure it's a bit less present, really nice to have that. And on your iPhone, there's a new section dedicated to iPhone mirroring. And let me briefly show you that. So when you go to your iPhone, then uh, go to settings, we need to go to general in general we need to scroll down to airplay and continuity so let's click on that and as you can see there's a new iphone mirroring section view and use your iphone from your mac access and control apps respond to notifications move files between iphone and mac and more so what we can do in here is that we can see all the macs that are connected to this iphone through iPhone mirroring and as you can see I have my iMac here and my MacBook and you can exactly see what the last time was that you connected your iPhone to that Mac through iPhone mirroring and what you can do in here is you can even edit this and for example remove this from the list just like that and then it's gone easy nice addition in iOS 18 and then you can also see with which Mac you connected and lastly let's say for any reason that your iPhone screen stops functioning crazy scenario i don't know this can happen or it's really unresponsive then you can actually access it through iphone mirroring so let's say the screen is cracked or you have just a really unresponsive display it's really hard to work with then you can still use it like that i know it's maybe a stretch but it might be a use case for some people that maybe need to still gather some data from an iphone screen that is broken or transfer some data or do anything important on there they still have that option with the iphone mirroring feature which i think is really a game changer all right guys that was your brief introduction to iphone mirroring if you have any questions about it please drop them in the comments below i hope this was helpful make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon like this video and i see you in the next one peace